Hello everyone, my name is Pratik Columbia and I'm working here in SENSE as a facility technologist in Lithography Bay. So today we'll be uh, going through the basic designing in Clevin software. So why we are starting from uh, Clevin? So basically uh, that software provides a better user interface or in short you can say that uh, it's very easy to uh, make a design in Clevin compared to any other uh, softwares like that I feel. Uh, you can also uh, like go through all the softwares and observe the thing. So now we will start from the Clevin. So uh, while making a design in Clevin software, generally we are uh, using .cif, .gds2 and uh, .dxf formats. There are some other formats also. And uh, there are a number of other softwares also by which we can make the designs. So that are klayout, ledit. So when you open the Clevin software, the first window which will pop up, it will look uh, something like this. So there you have a lot of options which you can use uh, to edit your design. So on the left section, we have the select option, the zoom in and zoom out option, the measurement option and uh, some uh, options to create the basic geometries and all. On the top side, we have some functions like whatever geometry we are making on the from the left side, we can apply some functions uh, on those geometries. So we'll go through all these things. On the rightmost side, we have a layer options. There we can uh, add layers or remove layers or we can basically edit the layers. Uh, which will be in uh, our design. So to open a new file, you have to go in the top left section. There you will uh, have a uh, file option. You have to click there. Then you have to open a new file. So whenever you are opening a new file, uh, there will be three regions basically. So one will be the working area. The second one will be the dead space. And the third one will be the restricted area. So uh, whenever you are designing any uh, device, your device should come on the working area and uh, if you are fabricating a mask you can label your photo mask and the label should come in the dead space and uh, nothing should come in the restricted area because uh, just suppose if you are making a 5 inch photo mask so your design should be in the 4 inch area because 4 inch will be your working area and you can uh, place your label in 5 inch and uh, your design should not go beyond 5 inch area because it will write outside the photo mask. So these are the basic things which you should keep in your mind. Then uh, we can change the background setting according to our sample size also. Just suppose uh, as I told earlier we will be using a 5 inch photo mask. So I have uh, right clicked on the background. So I have to go in the background settings. Then uh, there will be an option to change the mask size basically. And uh, we can also change the wafer size. And just suppose if you are making a 3 inch mask, then you can change the size here from 5 inch to 3 inch and wafer size from 3 inch to sorry 4 inch to 2 inch. So according to your sample size, you can change the settings. Then we will start uh, from the basic design options which are given in the left side. Basically, we will be using them to create the basic geometries. Either it uh, may be like a circle, triangle, rectangle or square or a polygon. So these options are given here. Also if we want to create a label, so we have to click here on the label uh, option. Then we can get this pop-up window like this and uh, I have to enter it uh, with the help of keyboard then it will come on the screen like this. Now uh, after creating a basic geometry which we have done earlier, just suppose I am creating this uh, rectangle but I want it to be a square. So how I will change the dimension of this specific geometry. So for that you have to click on the specific geometry which you have drawn. Uh, then after right click you will get a small window pop up like this. There you can change the properties of this specific geometry. So again you have two options. Either you can change the dimension by the means of its length or width. Or you can change its dimension by the means of the coordinate points. For changing it uh, by the means of coordinate points, you can click here or select this. And uh, if you want to change the length or uh, what should I say? Yeah, width and height, then you can uh, select this option. Then you can enter the width and height uh, values. 
so here i have given the values uh, 12000 or 12000 both are same so it will become a square but again there is a thing which we should uh, like keep in mind we have to select a reference point like uh, about which point our geometry will uh, shrink or increase so i have selected the center point here so whatever the changes will occur it will uh, come around the central point then these are some basic functions so earlier it was about the uh, basic geometries which we have uh, made like circle rectangle or any trapezoid or labels now we have uh, gone through the changing the properties of this uh, specific uh, geometry after changing the property of specific geometry uh, we need to apply some functions on the specific geometry why because either we want to populate that specific uh, geometry or device in the full writing area or we need to add to uh, device geometries so for that we need to apply some functions on the basic geometry so now we will uh, see how to apply the functions so on the top bar of the software window uh, first we will see the option of uh, duplicate so this is the option of duplication so basically we have to click here and then we will get this small pop up window so again we have three options to duplicate the specific uh, design which we have so the first option is uh, array the second option is radial and the third option is line so basically in array we can uh, give the number of rows and column so whatever we have drawn it will uh, make an array in some specific manner like the number of columns the number of rows and uh, if we are selecting the radial option then just suppose this is my uh, basic geometry so it will uh, revolve around a, uh, a circle and we have to select the center of the revolution also so in the first option uh, here i have selected five rows and five columns i have to mention the row spacing and column spacing also according to the basic geometry dimensions then uh, if we see the radial option of duplicating then here i have defined the origin as 0 0 like the design will be uh, coming around the origin 0 0 in a circular manner as you can see here and if i want to duplicate uh, the basic geometry in a linear manner then uh, i can select this line option after selecting this line option uh, then i have to select the number of instances so here it is 4 that means uh, the specific geometry which i have selected uh, i will get the four instances of that geometry and again i have to define the horizontal displacement or vertical displacement so i am making the vertical displacement zero here uh, it will not get copied in the uh, y axis will get the copies in the x axis only and here after specific after mentioning the specific horizontal displacement it will uh, look like this so we'll go through all these points in the main software also now we have uh, another option of mirror so for mirroring we can uh, select this option here then we have two options just suppose i have a design this earlier it was like this clavin tutorial for INUP. then i just want to mirror this same label in uh, uh, like x axis so i will mirror it uh, by taking the reference of y axis like i will mirror it around the y axis so i will select the direction as horizontal and then i will click ok then it will look like this and uh, this is basically important while uh, you are fabricating a photo mask just suppose if you have some labels on a photo mask and that is also in a writing area so you will get the labels with your uh, main devices in the writing area so at that time if you want your label to come properly like you can read that properly so you have to mirror the labels at that time so that will be important and uh, if you want to mirror the label with the like with respect to x axis then you can select an option of vertical and you can directly click ok now uh, after that we have uh, two more options like first one is grouping and the second one is uh, breaking apart so basically what is grouping so in case just suppose you have these nine uh, rectangles in your design 
and these all rectangles are a different uh, entities like these are all different elements so if you want to group all these then you can uh, select these all designs and you can directly click on the grouping option so it will uh, create a group and here you can see these are nine uh, uh, like dot kind of structure so basically there were uh, nine nodes here which are visible on the screen but after grouping it became a single dot or node I should say uh, which is visible on the screen so to break them apart like if it is grouped then we can also break all the elements in different different entities so we have to select the same design again and we have to select this option so it will break apart and it will become nine different uh, basic geometries now there are uh, some more important uh, functions which uh, you should keep in the mind while uh, making a design so the first option is uh, intersect if we have two design which are overlapping to each other then we can intersect those two devices or those two geometries so it will give a common part of those two basic geometries and uh, by subtract option which you can select from here so as you are able to see here first I have drawn this uh, square later on I have drawn this bigger one after, and after applying the subtract function uh, on this full system I have received this as a output then we have XOR option so basically this is a very important option so to do the XOR you can select this option here so first I have made this small square then uh, this bigger one and now I want to XOR so basically I have to select this full design and uh, it will remove the part of first geometry from the second covering geometry so in XOR uh, basically you will get the output in which the first geometry will be removed from the second overlapping uh, boundary or I should say the area so here first I have drawn this small square the bottom one then I have created a bigger uh, rectangle over this so by selecting the XOR option it will uh, remove the basic geometry part which is lower or which is uh, below that the covering area and it will give something like this in case if I am covering this uh, base or I should say the lower basic geometry totally with the second covering layer then it will remove this full square so for that I have example 2 so in case if you have this kind of alignment marker so uh, first I will group this because it's having two elements this plus one and this other outer boundary and I want to XOR this full thing so now I have to define a covering area because uh, here I have a covering area of a bigger rectangle over the small rectangle or square now I will also create a covering area like this which is bigger than this full system then I will cover this full system then if I select the XOR option now so it will delete the first layer which was here like the base geometrical system it will remove that from the covering uh, area and we will get an output like this then we have an option of uh, inversion if we have this kind of design uh, which I have used earlier also so if I want to invert this design, invert means uh, I have to flip or I should say I want to expose the other part. So this colored part will get exposed in the direct writer tool. So if I want to uh, create a design which is just ulta or opposite of this one or flip then I have to select this inversion. Then after selecting this inversion option you will get this pop up window where you have to enter the boundary or border uh, value so basically what is this so after inverting the design uh, we will get a outer border outside this uh, design so that we can define like up to how much distance we want that border so here I have given as 5000 uh, micrometer so here we have this 
5000 micrometer uh, distanced border around this main design now after uh, creating a design there is one more important thing so just suppose this is my final design so i have to select this all then i have to go in layout then special then center because our design should always be in center uh, because we'll be placing our sample in the center in that like of the tool stage and uh, if our design is somewhere else then we'll not get the design in the center or it might write outside the sample also so just make sure that uh, your design is always in center then we have to do the flattening by flattening we will be able to see each and uh, every element of the design so that's all for the basic uh, tutorial for clavin now we will uh, see some uh, hands on designing on clavin software so we have to open the design software then uh, it will look like this we have to open a new window so the interface will look like this and here we have 5 inch mask so basically in case if we are writing a 4 inch mask so we can change the background right click and background settings mask to 4 inch wafer should be 3 inch then ok so now it's showing 4 inch and this is the 3 inch working area ok I will uh, get back to the 5 inch area wafer 4 inch and mask 5 inch yeah so you can make uh, reference lines also just for your convenience you have to click here then you will get a line like this you can click here and you will get a line like this so you will have an idea like where I have to design and where I have to uh, copy the design so this is just like axis x axis and y axis so we'll start from the basic geometry so this is for uh, I have to click here and I will get a rectangle or a square again I, I never know whether it is a square or not because it looks like a square but I don't know so I will click here properties then I will select this option because I feel like uh, this is quite easy compared to this one because here I have to give the coordinate of these two diagonal points which is here and here so instead of uh, making things complicated we will select the easier way so here we can select this and I can give a width and height so it's uh, like luckily we got a square so it's 6000 and 6000 just suppose if I want it to be uh, 10,000 and uh, 10,000 but now as I told you earlier that uh, I have to select a reference point so in case if I select this point so it will enlarge with the with respect to this point this point will be fixed if I click OK so the size has increased with respect to this point okay so this was square similar manner we can create polygons so this is a trapezoid which is not a rectangle or a square I can change its own property also properties now I can define the uh, the A, B, H and W so basically you can see it here uh, on the screen so according to the requirement we can change these also and uh, if I want to create a triangle then I have to select this option again now I have to change the properties because in case if I want a triangle so I have to change the property now uh, I have to uh, select the number of nodes so basically it's a hexagon because 1 2 3 4 5 6 the number of nodes are 6 if I reduce the number of nodes uh, to 3 and I click OK then it will become a triangle so in similar way I can get a polygon also having n number of sides then uh, I can select these other options for these specific geometries for labeling I can select this I have to click here I have to give any name just suppose I am writing my name Pratik I click OK so I will get my name here as well and uh, I can increase the size of the label also I can change its own property also I can change the font style the height just suppose I'm giving it to 5000 angle I can also change 45 degrees just suppose and okay so now it will look like this uh, same for cycle also I have to select this and make a circle 
now i want a specific geometry just suppose i want uh, it to be centered at origin so i have to give the center values as 0 0 so suppose i want a circle having a diameter of 10 micrometer so i have to give the radius of 5 now i will click ok now the circle is on the center as you can see it's exactly centered at origin 0 comma 0 so that i can change uh, with the help of the settings given in the properties section and this is for script so here i can uh, use some specific codes if i have and uh, now we will jump towards the functions which we can use for uh, these patterns first i will clear the area yeah so just let's say i'm making these two rectangles now uh, i want to select these all and i want to make a single group so i will click here now it's showing uh, two entities when i click on group it will become a single entity to ungroup these i can select this break apart so now again they are become uh, they have become two entities uh, now if i want to just suppose yeah i want to uh, do the xor so i have to click here so the common part uh, which is coming below the second covering layer this bigger one it will uh, remove so now this is removed because it was coming under the covering part in case if i am covering uh, the first part completely then the complete structure will be removed so we will see that also i will move it here if now i am selecting the full thing and I'm doing XOR, so now this full area will be removed. And uh, for inversion, just suppose uh, I want to invert this design, so I will select this, I will click here, inversion, then I have to give a boundary value. Just suppose I'm giving a boundary value of 1 micron, I'm clicking OK. So now I got a boundary of 1 micron, this is 1 micron boundary. So, in similar manner, I can change the boundary values also, like the border values also. So, if I am trying to do inversion of this pattern, then I can directly click here. Just let's say I am giving a value of 1000 uh, micrometers, I click OK. So, it will be inverted, but the border will be of a 1 micrometer, sorry, 1000 micrometer thick. Uh, in same manner. I can uh, use the subtraction, addition, this, uh, where is the, yeah, this is the intersect option. So it will give you the common part uh, from these two structures. So it's giving the common part. And uh, yeah, this is the subtract option. So it's subtracting basically. So you can uh, go through these all the options and uh, this is for uh, setting the grid size so here we can uh, give the grid settings according to our requirement just suppose if i am giving a grid size of uh, 100 micron both vertical and uh, horizontal and uh, just suppose this is my uh, device so if i am moving this right or left or top or down so it's moving by 100 micron because the grid is itself is uh, 100 micrometer so it's moving by 100 micrometer if i'm reducing the grid size to 1 micrometer as you can see now the grid is reduced and if i'm moving it now so it will move by 1 micron so these are some basic options <coughs> and uh, yes so there is one more mirror option. So if I want to mirror this thing, I will make a unsymmetric design first. Yeah. Now I will select this and group this because I want it to be mirrored as a single entity. I have to click here. Again, it is showing a option. Direction we have to select. We want to mirror it. And after mirroring, it should come on horizontal or vertical. So it's coming like this. Again, if I'm uh, mirroring it 
and it should come in vertical thing so so it's coming here because it's being mirrored from this uh, central x axis so in similar manner if i want to mirror it on its own space so that i can do from uh, here if i want to mirror it uh, on its own space but uh, in uh, y axis so i can do like this i can click here so you can try these options and uh, this is for scaling sorry this one so if i select this and uh, i want to change the scale like i want to grow or shrink the design then i can uh, give the percentage values for scaling here i can give just suppose 50% 50% again uh, we have to select the reference point either with respect to this corner point or central point just suppose i am giving a central point as a reference so i have to click okay then it uh, has shrink now so in similar manner you can uh, try all these options now we will uh, try with a basic design of pv module we have uh, two layers here this layer number 1 sorry this is layer number 1 this is layer number 2 i will uh, change the layer property i will give the name of the layer as uh, layer 2 just suppose and here i am giving the name as layer 1 yeah <coughs> so for pv module uh, first we will start from the layer 2 then we will come to layer 1 we can start from layer 1 also uh, but i just want to show some more options so i will start from the layer 2 which is having some finger pads in the design if you have seen so first i will create a rectangle now this rectangle is in layer 1 so but i want to start the designing from layer 2 so i will change its property since it's in uh, layer 1 so i can change the layer of that specific geometry also so i will click ok now this element has become a part of layer 2 i will close this layer i will select this so now i will uh, change its dimension by going in the property section now i will uh, give the width of uh, let's just say 1 mm which is 1000 micrometers and a height of uh, 9 mm which is almost 9000 micrometers i will click ok so now we have got this pattern if i want to reduce the width also i can do that so let's just say i'm giving it as a 400 yeah now i will uh, center this device I'll select this and go in layout center so it came on the center now i have to create some uh, fingers around this uh, object so instead of making a new rectangle and placing it in the center what i will do is i will just copy this and i will paste it here so the second object which is pasted it will come just above this one but i want it to be horizontal because i have to make the finger connections so i will select the top one and i will uh, rotate this here we have an option for rotation i will uh, give a value of 90 degree i will select the reference point as center i will click ok so now it has become like this so i can go in properties here the length is 400 I will make it to 100 yeah now it's a single finger but I want to populate this finger around this uh, main base line so what I will do is I will select this and uh, I will try to populate it along this line y axis so I will select the line option instead of horizontal displacement I have to give the vertical displacement so here just suppose I am giving a space of 100 and i want 
the number of instances as uh, 7 I will click OK so it will come like this why because uh, the width of this line itself is 100 micrometer and when I am giving the spacing of uh, 100 and change it again and when I am giving the spacing of uh, 100 so it is considering only the dimension or I should say the width of the line so here I have to give the space plus its uh, own uh, width so there I have to give 200 now it will come like this if I want to increase the spacing I can do that also just suppose I am giving 500 spacing that means I have to give 600 because the width is 100 so now it will uh, come like this again if I want to populate on the downside instead of doing that I will try to copy this and I will mirror this thing I will copy this and paste this now I will mirror this so now it will uh, look something like this so this is our uh, layer to one device uh, in the first layer we have a box kind of structure which is covering this full part the finger part so that I have to create in uh, layer 1 so I will close this layer 2 I will select this layer 1 I will open it up or you can open the layer 2 also but you can lock it from here so whatever you are doing or whatever you are editing in the layer 1 it will not affect the layer 2 objects you can lock the layer 2 here then you can uh, create a box around it but first you have to measure the dimension like according to the requirement or dimension you can change its uh, property also so here I am just uh, uh, showing some options just for uh, revision purpose which we have seen in the PPT you can change its property you can uh, give the value as 10,000 one centimeter here also you can give the value as uh, 10,000 so now this is uh, covering the layer 2 part now just suppose this is our uh, first design then uh, I want to populate this design in the full uh, writing space so what I have to do is I have to select this full thing and I have to unlock this because uh, layer 2 should also get uh, populated so I will select this full thing first I will go in layer 2 and I will uh, make it as a group Yeah. now I will select the full device and uh, I will directly click here in the duplicate option then I can uh, make an array just suppose I am making an array of uh, 5 rows and 5 columns here again it is considering the row spacing and column spacing according to the dimension of this full device which is 1 cm and 1 cm so again I have to add the spacing so just suppose the spacing is uh, half centimeter so I have to give 15,000 here now I will click OK so now it will uh, look like this I can center this full design and uh, better to remove the corner designs because there should be some gap of 3 to 4 mm from the wafer boundary to the device end because uh, while processing or while doing the lithography uh, this area will uh, like cannot be used uh, for a good device because the thickness of resist or edge bead issue uh, might be there so better to remove the corner devices the boundary devices so this is our uh, device uh, in the layer 1 and, and uh, as well as in the layer 2 so now we have to do is to al uh, align the layer 1 with respect to layer 2 so for that we need some alignment markers so first I will save this file I 
this PV module. So now uh, we have to add the alignment markers. So we have some uh, standard alignment marker files. So basically we are using these alignment markers for uh, aligning uh, layer 1 to layer 2. So we can directly copy paste these alignment markers in our main uh, device file. So just suppose I am taking this file up to here only. So now since I have done the flattening, uh, every element will be separated. Now I can uh, easily copy them. So I will select this part only. I will copy this and I will paste it in my PV module design file. Yeah. So if I try to paste the file here. is coming somewhere else so I have to move it now just suppose I am moving it to here yeah. so this is just for example you can copy a long line of uh, alignment markers also and uh, I have to keep alignment markers uh, from wafer one end to another end also just for uh, reducing the angle shift or angle misalignment Better to keep uh, some alignment markers in the center also, but here we will uh, do something else. We will try to copy this. I will paste it here again. I will give an angle rotation of 90 degrees from this point. Now see how it will become. It will look like this. Now I can move this full file to here. Yeah. Now we have alignment markers in bottom uh, left corner, but I want it to come here, here and here also. So what I will do is, I will select this thing, I will make a group. Now I will copy and paste to here, here and here also. So instead of moving it by hand, I will uh, duplicate it in a radial manner. Now I have selected the reference point as 0, 0. I want number of instances as 4. I will give the angle as 90 degree. So it will populate it in a radial manner. I will click OK. So now it's coming like this. But the thing is, these alignment markers either properly horizontal or vertical. If they are at some angle, then while populating also they will come at some angle. So now they are populated in a very uniform manner. So now we can use these for alignment. So basically what we have to do is, first we will be making a layer 1, this. On the wafer. So with the device itself, these alignment markers will also come on the wafer. Then while, uh, while making the layer 2 on the device, we are already having the layer 1 alignment markers. So with the mask aligner tool, we can align the design mask of layer 2 with respect to the sample layer 1 alignment markers. So when the alignment markers will uh, fit to each other or it will align to each other, then the device also will uh, get aligned. So that's how we have to uh, do the alignment. And just suppose if I am making a photo mask, and uh, I am giving a label to this device. Just suppose I am giving a label here is device 1. And so this label will also come in the device. But since I will be using a mask, uh, I have to flip the label to create a photo mask. Because uh, when we will be using the photo mask to expose the wafer, we have to flip the photo mask because in the tool itself, we have to keep the photo mask in flipped manner. So these label will also get flipped and it will come as a mirrored uh, label on the wafer. So for making a photo mask, I have to uh, mirror this. So I will do that. 
so now it will look like this on photo mask but, but on your wafer it will come properly so this is why we are using mirror and uh, you can also label this as pv module photo mask So this was the basic designing for uh, Flywin software, hope you understand, thank you.